Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, back for another one. Uh, hey, I wanted to reach out and say thank you guys for the overwhelming support of my last video. Uh, man, I, I wasn't expecting it to, to, to take off the way it did. It was a, it's been a breath of fresh air. Most of the, most of the feedback's been, been positive for sure. Uh, I've definitely had a few trolls, whatever, call me entitled, call me, tell me I'm whining, whatever. It, I, it, I don't really care. I, I told the truth. I've, I shared my experience. You know, it is what it is. I, uh, putting that out there I figured I would get some get some backlash and some criticism for it from from fans from people in the industry uh, you know and it is what it is I, I I told the truth I shared my experience thus far and you know like I said in the video it's been my, most everything that's happened to me is my own fault for not for not adapting to social media better and, and trying to to grow my brand you know mo like I said most of it's my own fault but you know, I, I didn't. I didn't say anything that that wasn't the truth, and I didn't say anything that there's not a whole hell of a lot more guys going through the same thing as I am. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's the truth. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I've had some uh, had some companies that uh, that uh, that I work with or worked with come to me and, and tell me they they're not gonna not gonna pursue pursue a partnership with me any longer, and that's that's completely fine that's the way it is you know my my biggest supporter pro choice marine they uh they came to me and told me they were they were moving on from me they didn't uh, appreciate what i had to say and uh you know it's a real shame uh, because i definitely was not taking a shot at anyone uh anyone that supports me that's for sure i, I appreciate any any help i've got uh you know like i said it, it, it's I, I really do appreciate anyone that was trying to help me in, in whatever way and I was most definitely not taking a shot at anyone that, that, that helped me. I, I, I understand how it could come across that way but but everything I said was absolutely the truth and I, I hate it that it that they feel that way and you know it's it's disappointing that the way the the way the relationship ended they didn't even have the balls to call me call me and talk to me about it they just just shot me a text or you know they didn't reach out and uh, they didn't reach out and tell me, ask me, get, try to get my thoughts on it or anything. They just they just went ahead and jumped to some conclusions and, and ended it. And that's the way way it is. I, I don't really appreciate it much. Uh, I'm sure they didn't appreciate what I had to say, but you know they could have reached out, especially if, if if it was a partnership. I feel like maybe they were looking for a way out, and you know that's that's the way way it goes. It is what it is. Uh, I appreciate. I really do appreciate everything they did for me. I've got nothing but but good things to say about them. I really do. They're they're good people. Uh, hate the way it in, hate the way it ended the way it did. Uh, I had another company, my rod and reel company, Arc reached out and they were upset with what I had to say. And you know, like I said, I I, I got nothing bad to say. I, I I can't say for sure if they've ended my relationship, but I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it's probably probably ended because they were upset. And I, I told them I, I wasn't backing away from from what I had to say, and I told the truth and shared my experience. And if they had a problem with that, then you know. Uh, I don't want to work with companies like that anyway. It's there's there's nothing wrong with, with telling the truth and t sharing my experience with people and putting it out there for people to see. And if if the industry wants to cancel me or fire me for for that, then then so be it. I'll do it on my own. I really don't care. Uh, I don't want to, but there's there's nothing wrong with sharing my experience, telling the truth. Like I said, a lot of it's my own, my own doing. Uh, yeah, so. I just I just shared shared the truth. I can't say that enough. I shared my the truth in my experience. You know that was a that was a big step for me. That's something ninety eight percent of guys don't have the balls to do. Uh, uh, you know it. So that that was a big step for me. I, that's that's completely out of my comfort zone. I'm not a people person. I don't like to get in front of a camera. But unfortunately, that's that's what I have to do. And you know honestly, after the after the responses I've gotten. Um, something i wish i would have done a whole heck of a lot sooner that's for sure the, the the response i've gotten has been overwhelmingly supportive from the fans my peers several people in the industry have called out and and, and showed support of what i had to say so 98 percent of it's been all good uh you know like i said this that was a big step out of my out of my comfort zone sure i don't like putting myself out there for people to see that side of me but you know something i honestly would after doing it something i wish i would have done a whole heck of a lot sooner um but with that being said, uh, and doing a lot of thinking, I think I think going forward, what I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be completely transparent with you guys, uh, and do something something no one else has done before. Uh, you know, being that I'm struggling financially, I'm struggling sponsor wise. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to adapt myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna make completely transparent, and, and I'm gonna put it all out there for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna share the the finances that it takes to do this for a living. I'm gonna tell you how much money I've gotten, what I'm spending, anything that comes in. We're gonna keep a total chart of it. I'm gonna show you. A, I'm gonna break down each and every tournament, how much I spend what I take in and we're just, we're just going to do a running tally. I think it's, I think it's something you guys will enjoy seeing. Uh, it's something no one else has done before. No one else's ego will let them do. People don't, people don't in the industry don't want you guys to see what, what a lot of us make. It's, it's not a, not, there's a, quite a few of us who don't, this isn't a very, isn't overly profitable if you, if you, <clears throat> if you don't catch them tournament wise. So, uh, you know, it's 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 something I think I think a lot of people will be interested to see. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it all out there. Every last I'm gonna show you guys every last dollar I spend doing this. I'm gonna show you what's in my bank, how much money I have in my bank account before tournament, after term, before I go into the season, at the end of the season. You know we're gonna we're gonna put it all out there for you guys. You know like I said I appreciate appreciate all the feedback, good, bad, and everything else. It's all been been good. Like I said, it's a shame these. These people I, I work with ended it the way they did. Um, I, I like I said, I got nothing but good things to say about these, these people. Pro's Choice, Arc. I, I really do appreciate everything they've done for me. I appreciate all the companies that have reached the companies I work with that have reached out and showed complete support in, in what I've done. You know, my 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 biggest supporter now, Miller Tech. They've they've reached out and showed support, and you know, th those are the those are the good people in the industry. Those are the people that you guys need to uh, that you definitely need to. Be, be investing your money into because if they support someone like me after coming out and saying something like that telling the truth then then those are the good people those are the people we want in the industry you know I, I've I, I wasn't intending to take a shot at anyone shots at anyone in the industry I got I don't I, there's no hard feelings I understand how it works I, I was just sharing my experience how it's been for me and what's happened to me and if people don't like that that's fine they can stop being titty babies I don't really care I don't care what people think of me. You either like me for who I am and what I have to say, or you don't. That's fine. Uh, if you want to cancel me, that's great. If you want to fire me, if you don't want to work with me, that's fine. Uh, but I'm just trying to be transparent. I want. I don't want. You know, because five or six years ago, I was I was still in the college series. I was working my way up. Um, I am not trying to crush anyone's dreams. I just want people to. I want to be transparent with people that want to do this for a living so they know what to expect and that they can better prepare themselves better than I did so that they're not in the same position I am. That's, that is, that is what I'm trying to do here. I want people to see, I want people to prepare themselves and know what they're getting into before they do it. Uh, like I said, uh, I wasn't taking, definitely, most definitely was not taking a shot at Bassmaster or anything like that. Uh, if it wasn't for Bassmaster, I wouldn't be where I'm at. I'm incredibly thankful and supportive of all the doors that, that they've opened for me. Uh, you know, like I said, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even have the platform to get on here and talk about things like this or be able to do anything like this. So I just want, I want people to realize what they're getting into before they get into it. Don't get, like I said, dude, fishing the Bassmaster Elite Series is the greatest thing in the world. It's, I love nothing more. It's an absolute dream come true. I mean, an absolute dream come true. Uh, it's something I want to keep. It's something I want to do for the rest. Of, it's something I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to make a living doing this. I love bass fishing more than anything in the world. That's for sure. And you know, this whole. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm. I've spent. I've dedicated my whole life to being the very best bass fisherman I am. Best fisherman. I've dedicated my whole life to be the best bass fisherman I can be. And you know, you get to the highest level, and there's levels to it. You know, it's it's not about. It's not all about bass fishing. So. I'm taking a step out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grow with this social media stuff. I'm gonna try to get better. I don't know, I don't know a dang thing about YouTube. I don't know a dang thing about algorithms. I don't know anything about any of that. So, uh, you guys are gonna learn as I go, and uh, I'll pick up what I can and try to. But uh, I'm gonna be completely. It's gonna be completely unfiltered and raw and. You guys are going to see all the highs and lows and, and hear the hear the finances and everything it takes to do this for a living. So, um, you know, like I said, people can say what they want to say about the last video. Call me selfish. Call me a whiner. Call me a whiner. Call me entitled. Call me whatever you want. I don't really care what you think about me. I told you the truth. I told you my experience. If you don't like it, 
oh well I'm not the only one going through it and there's no, no one else has admitted it I've had a lot of a lot of my peers reach out to me and, and show support and uh, the fan support has been absolutely amazing uh, you know like I said I've heard from people in the industry and they've showed nothing but but support for me I've got I've got no bad things to say about anyone in the industry I understand how it works uh, it's not been all good it's not been a not been a, a great experience for me and like I said it's mostly my own fault uh, but they the industry hasn't done a whole lot to help me out either so um, that is what it is I uh, you know lost my boat deal so I'm not to run a run the same boat I ran last year unfortunately and I'm on, on my own for for tackle and rods and reels and everything else you know and I appreciate the people that have stuck with me so far you know Miller Tech Waterland uh, Boat Logics Buck and Bass, those, those are the guys that have supported me and, and continue to support me so far. And you know, like I said, I, I, I greatly appreciate all the support I've gotten, all the support I continue to get. Um, it's unfortunate that, that some of the things happen the way they are, but like I said, I've got no, no harsh feelings. Uh, they can feel the way they feel. That's fine with me. I don't really care. You're either with me or you're against me. Um, that's the way it's going to be. It's always been me against the world. That's the way it will continue to be. Uh, looking forward to, definitely looking forward to next season. I'm, I've, I've really enjoyed the, enjoyed the, re the response I've gotten from that last video. I think I might have found another, another passion for the, for the sport doing this kind of thing. I, I didn't think I would enjoy it, but I've kind of, I've enjoyed the response and the feedback I've gotten. So we're going to keep, keep putting it out there. Uh, all the good, bad, ugly, and everything in between. Uh, it's a shame I got I've gotten fired for uh, for my last video. Uh, I wish people would have reached out and, and just had a conversation with me and at least given me a call before shooting me a tag. So I felt like that was kind of cowardly and showed a lack of balls. But it is what it is. There's no hard feelings. Uh, appreciate everything everyone's done for me. Uh, appreciate the support from all the fans and everyone that watches. All my peers that have reached out. Um, you know, like I said, I'm gonna be back doing it all on my own for the most part next next year appreciate the people that that have helped me out how they can this year miller tech waterland uh all the companies that support me you know who you are that continue to support me you know who you are i appreciate them uh like i said we're gonna put it all out there for you guys uh let me know what you think let me know if you guys have any ideas what can be better what you don't like let me know what you want to see fishing wise what you want to see finance wise what just we'll, we'll put out all the tea buddy we'll put it all out there for you guys to see so let me know like i said the plan is to put out i'm going to put out all the finances what i spend on everything uh to every last cent what it goes down to truck payment boat payment entry fees gas tackle all of it we're going to put it all out there i'm going to show you guys what i have them i'm actually going to show you guys what i have in my bank account what i have to start what i have after every tournament at the start what i have at the end of a tournament what i have at the end of the year how much money i make what my net profit is net loss whatever whatever it is so we're just, we're going to do something no one else has done we're going to put it out there for you guys so hopefully hopefully you guys enjoy it and like i said i appreciate appreciate all the support uh we'll see you in the next one